Hey guys, I'm Sean Henry with Pepperland Marketing, and today I'm gonna to tell you what you should do when you see twice as many pages indexed in Google Search Console than actually exist on your website. So if you've ever logged into Google Search Console and then saw something that looks a little bit like this, where the number of indexed pages on your website has just skyrocketed overnight, in this case it actually doubled, and you're wondering, why does it say that there are 771 pages that are valid and indexed in the Google Search Console when I only have 400 or so pages on my actual website? This is a very common thing, and it has to do with your content management system, your CMS, um, and the, the theme that you're using, it's probably generating several pages that don't actually contain real content. A very common thing is if your website is on WordPress, and many, many websites on the web are built on WordPress, is that um, your theme actually creates an attachment page for every single image that you upload. This is a, a default setting in WordPress, many people don't know this, but if you were to go into your media library in WordPress, and I'll, I'll actually show you what this looks like. So, if I go into any image that I've added to a, a website and open up the image file in WordPress, you'll see towards the bottom of this page, there's a little link here that says view attachment page. If I were to click on this, open that in a new tab, I'll see that WordPress has actually created a dedicated page specifically for this image. And this is a worthless page. It provides no value to a searcher, to a visitor to my website. It just really shouldn't exist. Now, the problem is Google will detect those pages and eventually start to index them. And that's why you get those thousands of pages uh, showing up in Google Search Console and you're wondering, well, I only have 400 pages, why does it say I have 1,000? That's typically why. Fortunately, this is a very easy thing to fix. Um, if you are using WordPress, a very uh, popular plugin to use for SEO is called Yoast. And um, there's a, a simple setting in Yoast. You're going to go into Search Appearance and then um, you would go into Content Types. And this is going to ask you what type of types, um, what what types of content you actually want to um, actually uh, show up. So you're going to search for media in this list. You may have multiple different content types. Oh, here we go. Um, there's actually a separate tab for it now called media. So it's media and attachment URLs. We recommend that you set this to yes. Do you want to redirect attachment URLs to the attachment itself? select that to yes, and then these pages will no longer be accessible. Um, another uh, plugin is All-in-One SEO. Here you want to go and make sure that you've um, set your media files to no index. You want to do this in Yoast as well. Um, if you do these two things, if you uh, set your media files to be no indexed, you exclude them from your robots.txt file, and then pretty importantly, you want to actually redirect those media attachment pages to the page that they're embedded on. Um, you'll be in good shape and you should see those pages disappear. There's other reasons as well, but this is the most common problem that we, we see where the site is built on WordPress and WordPress is automatically creating the media attachment files. Fortunately, it's very easy to fix. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe.